What's going on, guys? We had a crazy mover today, AKTX. Uh, we were up or almost 200% at one point. We started the day around the 180s, or we closed yesterday at 180, and we're up almost 200% at five bucks. Crazy stuff. So I traded this. I had a loser. I had a winner. And then I had another winner. Um, let, let's go over kind of what happened today. Because <clears throat> I, I traded this well, but there was some mistakes in here. So I defined these these levels here um, from the daily chart. So 315, you can see here. Uh, where's 315? Uh, 315 was the high of this recent red candle. And this candle had volume. So uh, I knew that it would be a level in play. So I marked out 315. And I'm trying to remember where I got 290 from. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, 290 was the pre-market high. So both of those are very important levels. And we can see that once we got in that range, we kind of were just trending uh, in the range. We were range bound. We were just kind of going like this. So my mistake here was that I didn't, I didn't give it enough time. Like I was just wasn't I just wasn't buying at the right spot. So I was buying at the resistance, and then I got stopped out. And then as we came back down to this 290 pre-market high, which would have been the trade, like this on VWAP too. This would have been the trade right here, um, because we clean we cleanly broke out of 290. We came up to the resistance, um, and then we came back down for the opportunity to dip by. Um, and then we bounced off of it. We were consolidating on lower volume. Uh, it tried to stuff on some volume right here, but then when it didn't, we just shot through. And then everyone who's short in here is now underwater right here, which is what I was thinking. So then again, for the dip by to 315 this time, I nailed it, and then I added for the breakout here, uh, and I missed this sell right here. So unfortunately, I had to stop out of the whole thing right there, and then I missed the, the move. Now, I still had that thesis in mind. We had increasing volume here. I knew that all of these shorts were trapped. So how much volume is that? That's At the time, it was like millions of shares. Everyone who's short in there was caught. So I was adding slowly and slowly. Um, just when I saw like massive people on the bid, uh, let's actually just go over the video. I can show you what I see. Um, so I added here. 350 is a nice um, level because it's a half dollar level. Um, we can kind of watch some of the action that was going on here. There was just massive soaking. There was massive bid stacking. Uh, there was lots of shorts, I think, just trying to cover at any price and get out. So they were just putting their whole order up on the bid because uh, they want to get the rebate, like the, uh, the like a lot lower commissions. And the momentum buyers were also coming in at the same time. So here I am. I guess I only had a 1,000. Okay, that was the smart idea. I only had a 1,000 shares. And just from there, we went up. And I had a target of, uh, what was it, 388? or something what was it uh, four dollars four dollars was here um, it acted as support oh my god where is it right here we kind of bounced off we came up we bounced off I was just looking for another level in this area so four dollars was my level and let's uh, go back to the video here so I'm just waiting for four dollars I was never really down on the position so I didn't have to consider whether to sell or not and my thesis started working out I sold 400 there at 488 uh, I sold some more up there uh, you can see my orders here at 92 I think that counts as uh, sold at 97 so I was selling up towards my resistance uh, because you don't know where it's gonna stop so I said somewhere in the 90s Pretty much, I'll start selling, uh, and I just got really nervous around 388, so I sold the 400 shares a little early there. 
But I'm I'm happy with this trade. I'm just maybe not happy with my entry. If I had held this entry with a thousand shares instead of adding to two thousand, then at this point I would have been up six hundred bucks. So uh, it's all about risk management. I had to stop. Well, I didn't really have to stop out right there. Um, but I was getting close to my max loss in the day. I was down a hundred and. 60 or 70 at that point and with 2,000 shares that leaves me like one cent two three cents of room so I had to be like really really close to that entry and this entry was close like that was almost dead on uh, but this one for the breakout was a little bit sloppier so I had to <clears throat> I had to sell and all I had to do was just wait longer because if I was in for this I would have held at least some of it obviously where I did here um, so that's what happened there I still had 200 shares at this point for my next target of 488 which I also got from the daily rate here you can see it's just just a top there um, after a consolidation period you, you can see that this was a, a key kind of level so 200 shares here I'm just I'm waiting I'm trying to add so I add there, I add a hundred shares there, and then so this was the this was the beautiful trade and what started the rest of it working out. So we flushed here, we flushed hard into four dollars. Uh, when the volume updates, you'll see that's some big volume. I jumped in another hundred shares right there, um, and then after that, the volume really picked up. Uh, this whole this just got gobbled up because people realized that this four dollar level did in fact hold, um, and that might have been their last chance to kind of get in on this, or get out of it if they were short. Excuse me. So you know it's just being bought up. The volume's very very high compared to the consolidation, and then sure enough, right after that, uh, we just started taking off. I tried to add again right there another hundred shares but we just started taking off I started selling up towards these wicks you know this high a day right here um, and 450 I sold because it was a kind of a key level I just sold another hundred shares uh, and then the last two I was holding on for that resistance I was just holding um, I sold another hundred at 469 again I don't know where we're gonna stop so I'm just trying to sell as high as I can like these two cells were the safer cells at or near high of day and then the momentum trade up to 488 I'm trying to sell as close as I can and I'm not really sure I'm trying to read this tape but like 20 30 40,000 shares are being filled on each side and I don't I don't know what's going on other than like volume is surging and this will probably pull back very soon so um, I just put in my stops uh, I stopped the video there because that's where I was gonna start recording um, so I put in my stops when we were like right here I put it at like 492 which was just above that resistance level uh, but under five dollars which was why I put it there and then uh, 440 was the stop just because I wanted to give it some wiggle room around the half dollar so it ended up going up 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 I got filled shot through five bucks um, got immensely stuffed uh, under five dollars and then I think from there on it was the trade was short so this 488 acted as heavy resistance it got heavier and heavier and heavier and I fully expect this to be the end of this now I don't know and I'm not betting on it because I'm not short uh, we'll see again how 450 holds but this might now bounce back up and double top whether at high of day or double top here at 488 this would be a really nice short I can't I can't short uh, otherwise I'd probably take that but uh, we'll see what happens there. So the other trade was TEUM. I don't know how to feel about this trade again. Whenever, whenever I'm red on a trade, I say that. I was like, oh, I don't know how to feel about this. But I do think it was good, uh, I guess, because <clears throat> it surged at the start of the day. 
over 472, which was the pre-market high, and then we started to flag. So we were just on like abysmal volume. So maybe that was one of the clues that this was not a good idea. Um, and the range and volume typically isn't that high, but I don't know. I I was buying in for this wedge breakout that was very very clear. So I put my stop at 470, I think. Yes, 470. Uh, I didn't want to put it right at the bottom of the the candle because if it comes down and gets bought back up, I don't want to get stopped out. So that's what ended up happening. It just went out and it just died under 472. That was it. Um, and then of course it <laughs> it reclaimed and it worked without me. Um, these trades are hard to gauge because like if I had just held on it would have been a great trade and I would have made like 400 bucks but at this point with 1500 shares I would have been down 20 cents I would have been down 300 that's not within my risk limit and what's like what is the pattern here there's no pattern here like why did it bounce here like there's there's no like sure okay it came back down to this pre-market pivot right here actually now that I see it uh, right here of 460 but that's not <laughs> you, that's not a lot like I don't know that's not a pattern it, it reclaimed VWAP uh, which is kind of scary for shorts and then it started kind of trending upwards but I don't know if I could have taken this trade in here and this might have only been sympathy for AKTX because right around that time that was 10 -0, um, uh, what was I just on TEUM that was 1008 1009 like so 1007 for the next 10 minutes it reclaimed so AKTX at 1007 for the next 10 minutes that's when it reclaimed that's when this was just going parabolic so that could have just been a sympathy play so really in reality this was a similar trade um, but this one just worked out so anyways uh, where was I going with this? So that was AKTX. I only traded AKTX and TEUM. Um, we went over TEUM. I had to stop out there. There was there was nothing to that. Like I just there was no question about me having to stop out. So maybe as we broke back into this wedge on VWAP, you could have dip bought it right here and try to get as close as you could to the uh, that breakout level. <clears throat> I actually do see that as the the next trade, but in terms of this trade, I had no choice. If I had just taken less size, I still would have stopped out there. I just would have had a uh, $80, $70 loss, so nothing really changed about that. So AKTX, what would I change? I need to stop buying breakouts or like resistance levels. Like, Why do I do that? Like, I had a really, really tight stop here just because I knew what I was doing. But like, I should have just waited. So we came back up to 315. We came back down. I didn't take this trade for some reason. I didn't take it here, and this was the trade. Uh, this entry was perfect. And then again, I buy a breakout. I try to add on like breakouts, and it just doesn't ever work. I keep saying that it never works, for me at least. So I need to just stop doing that. Um, it broke out and I missed the fill. And then I just held on and I got stopped out. And then that, that ad is what took me out of this trade right here. Now maybe these would have been ads after this and I would have actually had like a thousand dollar profit. Who knows what I would have actually done. Um, you could call this trade a chase, but I'm happy with this trade because it was supported by my thesis of like everyone in here is trapped. I have my set risk. Um, and then I, I held on until my target. I re-added on support, which was the same level from before. And then I was selling on the way up. So no, like, I don't really have that big of a problem with this trade. I feel like I'm rambling. I'm definitely rambling, so I'm sorry. But uh, stop buying breakouts.
stop adding at tops and uh, just obey the risk because if I hadn't done that this risk would have been fine I would have held on and maybe I would have sold some here but I definitely would have held on for the top here so anyways with that said I'm out of here I'm gonna go to the gym I'm done <sighs> see you tomorrow <laughs>